you may have heard of a new program that I am thrilled about out at Lincoln. And I'm not quite sure, but we're going to find out whose idea this was. <laughs> but it's agri-therapy, and it has to do with providing uh, an opportunity, particularly for special mm -hmm. needs children and a partner, a regular mm -hmm. ed partner, to learn how to take care of some animals. Mm -hmm. And these uh, two adults uh, are the ones overseeing this project that's just started. Jordan Burrell and Kendra Kastner, who are both West Texans, <laughs> I've just learned. And Jordan grew up here, graduated Central High, and Kendra grew up in Kermit. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so now who thought of this? Well, I guess it originated, we, we, you know, we had some discussion on how to enhance our students' lives um, and what we really wanted to do to uh, just to make this year more impactful for them. We knew we were going to begin teaching in thematic units this year and um, really incorporating, we had the addition of a new teacher in Ms. Kasner, um, giving us four teachers this year at Lincoln in our special needs unit. And so we really just wanted to figure out a way, how can we just go a little further? How can we take things a step further for our uh, young people? And um, someone at some point in time said, why don't we get a goat? We can show a goat. And so it just, it just kind of happened that we started, well, how can, where can we put a goat? Uh, we found an abandoned area here at Lincoln that um, was originally a vocational area when it was built and it hasn't been used in a while. So, hey, this is a great place for a goat. And we said, well, we should have some donkeys. And so we just think it's just donkeys. donkeys. donkeys Are know? they full size or? They're standard donkeys. They're, yeah. Okay. Just a, just a good old donkey. And uh, we have a whole family unit there. We have Maybell, the mayor, and her filly, or foal. Uh, and then we have Leroy. The kids uh -huh. chose his name. And uh, he's there as well. So a little family unit there um, mm -hmm. together. So, uh, And then we also have a lamb coming and chickens. And, and we have now added rabbits in. And the children built the chicken coop for the program. So, And I understand that it is a a quite attractive chicken coop. <laughs> yes. I didn't know uh, chicken coops came attractive, <laughs> <laughs> but that's uh, an, an incredible opportunity. We know we've read about using animals for therapy in nursing mm -hmm. homes in elementary schools. We have some dogs in our community that are fabulous, that are therapeutic, used in therapeutic mm -hmm. session, settings. But your children, you are both uh, special, special education by teachers by training, isn't that right? Yes, yes ma'am. And so your students are, have big challenges every day of their lives and the world uh, is, is harder for them in many instances. And what is exciting to me is the fact that you all have thought of this idea. You have, you got permission. You didn't uh, go a, a, a roundabout. And I was thrilled to be one of the final ones to give permission and had a big smile when I hit send after saying yes because of the potential for seeing how it can enrich uh, the lives of these young people. Your, your, your stu special needs students are from what age to what age? We have everything from sixth graders to ninth graders on Lincoln's campus and um, their disabilities range from everything from um, intellectual disabilities to autism to emotional disabilities um, and kind of everything in between. So we have a lot of needs that have to be met in a lot of different ways. And what are some of the benefits besides it's, it feels good? Go ahead. Right. Oh, you can. Um, some of the benefits, we've seen major behavioral changes for our students. Um, we can take a student that's having a really hard day, a rough day, let them spend a few minutes brushing a donkey, feeding the goats. Um, it's a lot of positive reinforcement for them because they're getting the response from the animals. Um, that's changed several of our students' whole days around. Um, they come back into the classroom they're more relaxed, they're more ready to learn. They're taking some of those skills that they're learning in the classroom, like measurement, and applying it out there to build chicken coops. So they're getting um, hands-on life uh, activities that go along with what we're teaching in the classrooms. Did you have 
at the first any child who was standoffish and not, just not sure mm -hmm. because a lot of city kids are never <laughs> around <laughs> animals. Exactly. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll tell you, most of our students, um, and I'll say probably 75 to 80 percent, had never touched a rake or a shovel. Um, and so just the opportunity to have those experiences um, was huge. And we've had several students who have just, you know, the, at first it was, you know, it was hard to be around a large animal or even a goat, a small animal. And, um, but I think now that they, you know, it's, it's just been amazing to watch, um, especially our young people with autism who have that, that big sensory need. Um, it's just such a need they have now and we, we can't keep them out there. I mean, they just want to go so badly. Um, first thing in the morning, we take a group out because they just want to be there so badly. So, so have all of them decided that they want to get close? Yes, we have 100% <laughs> participation in the program. And do you just um, get a, that good, warm, fuzzy feeling watching their faces a change and smile? Uh, animals uh, are so much more accepting and non-judgmental than exactly. adults. Mm, absolutely. Where did you get, because the animals that you got, I understand, are, uh, were looked at first to mm -hmm. make sure they had good dispositions. Um, how did you let people know that you were looking for animals that would do well with special needs children? Well, we, we initially knew that to begin this, we were taking on a lot of responsibility for our young people and for their families and uh, even for our school and our school district. So we made um, a lot of effort. You know, I have a lot of experience with animals. Ms. Kasner does. Um, Mr. Landers on our staff does as well. Um, and so we just took a lot of effort to put the word out. We're looking for some animals. Um, and these are the things, that, the qualities we want in these animals. They need to be calm. They need to be able to withstand a lot of touching and, um, you know, and then we took those animals and we took some time. We had animals um, on Mr. Lander's ranch out in Coke County for a little bit um, before they came to campus just to see how they were going to do being handled and moved and those kind of things. And as we saw, well, these are really nice animals. Let's give them a try. We, you know, brought them back to campus, kept them in a pen and students came very slowly. And, you know, it's just been a very slow progression um, and one we're very proud of that it's been successful. We've had, you know, just not, not even any inkling of a problem. I mean, kids have been very accepting. The animals have been wonderful for the kids. So, mm -hmm. um, and wonderful community donations as well who have offered um, chickens and bunny rabbits and donkeys and, and goats and, and pins. Twin Mountain Fence Company gave us lots of building material and just, it's so wonderful to see the, the community come together uh, for our young people. It's been, made me feel very, very happy to be a part of San Angelo. Well, I know you well enough to know that you thought it out that when every the rest of us might get to go on a trip at Christmas <laughs> yes. uh, the, the animals uh, mm -hmm. need to still have upkeep so yes, how do you and summers when mm -hmm. it's hot and the kids are not there how have you worked out a schedule for that we have, we have uh, Mr. Landers on staff who has been very, very willing to take animals home with him if we need to. Um, we also have a rotation of staff members who come up on the weekends to take care of animals. And of course, for our own children, it's very nice as well to have, you know, my little girls love to go up there and feed animals and, and be a part of that. So um, our entire staff has been so nice and willing to give up their time and their effort to come and make sure the animals are well taken care of. Um, and, and because we are special ed teachers, our kids stay pretty much year round. Um, in the summertime, will give us a wonderful opportunity for even more intensive instruction with the animals so we're looking forward to that and how are you covering the fact that it costs money to feed and ha keep animals with their shots right now that's currently coming from from teacher donations or donations from the community and also some fundraisers that we've held at Lincoln like our um, we last week had a kiss the donkey contest <laughs> where the kids put money into jars and the two we ended up having a tie so our two assistant principals had to kiss a donkey at the end of the week in front of the campus <laughs> so it oh, was oh that's a neat <laughs> clever idea it was a lot of fun and it was wonderful to see how much the rest of the students at Lincoln supported the program and how much interaction our students were getting with those students when they're coming by asking them who's in the lead how do I vote you know it was a great opportunity for our kids to get involved with the campus okay we haven't discussed yet the fact that non special needs children mm -hmm. 
are partnering on this. How is how are you pulling that off? We have some wonderful um, students who have been a part of our young people's lives already through PE partners and art partners. Um, and so already they were just chomping at the bit to be able to come out onto the farm and be a part of it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and even young people without disabilities, it's just been amazing to see them come and be a part of, of what we're doing and to help our students. And, and it's just created a wonderful inclusive environment where, you know, uh, our young people with autism are no different than, than a, a young person with, uh, in, in advanced placement classes. Uh, when they're on that farm, they're all together. You know, there's no difference. They're just 12-year-old kids, 13-year-old uh, kids having a good time and, and learning about animals and, and being together. And, and for us, it's huge. I mean, it's just a wonderful opportunity. Did you have trouble coming up with enough uh, children to be their partners? No. Um, <laughs> if anything, we have an abundance. We have <laughs> students that are, that are waiting for their opportunity to, to come in and help us. We're very blessed at Lincoln to have just some amazing uh, young people who want to be a part of our kids' lives. and, and it's, it's Everybody nice. wins under that scenario. Um, well, what has been an aha? Did, has something happened that you just went, oh my? I think the opportunity, um, it, it, we, we knew kind of, we had head knowledge of what this was going to be for our young people. Um, and we'd seen some of us had worked doing programs like this before. Um, but I think the first moment where, where all of the work came together and seeing our young people touch those animals and, and just the elation on their faces was just a moment for all of us that we were just in, you know, inspired and in awe uh, of the moment. And uh, you know, it's, it's a moment I'll remember in my professional and personal career forever. Um, to see that happen. Words don't adequately describe that, do they? They sure don't. Well, have you taken pictures? <laughs> yes, we have hundreds of pictures. Well, we need to put some of those up on our website to, um, and because a picture can come closer mm -hmm. to letting family members see what a special experience this is for everybody. Exactly. All right, how do you, besides adding rabbits, or a, what do you see expanding in the days or months to come? Well, we would certainly like an opportunity. We, because Lincoln is sitting on such a huge piece of land, which, uh, you know, that's one of been one of the most amazing things. Any other middle school, we've, we would never had this opportunity because of where they They're are. They're landlocked. They are. Uh -huh. and, and Lincoln is just so wonderful. We have all that land. So we're hoping to get to a point where as funds increase and we're able to have more money, we're going to, you know, build a fence, a perimeter um, where our young people can go out and, and truly halt break animals, teach them how to make correct turns and, and things like that. We want to add a Jersey calf. We're looking, you know, Jerseys happen to be a wonderful breed of of cow that stay small and are very, very sweet. And so we're hoping to add a calf to our program um, and just give another opportunity there. Um, and so, and, and one of the big things we want to do is add more students. We've had, you know, several PPCD teachers and, um, and other elementary teachers say, hey, we would like to be a part of this. So we would like to start coming up with opportunities for uh, the rest of our district to come and be a part of the program. Well, the animals can't get too much love and, and <laughs> no. petting, can they? That's right. No. Can't. Can't be <laughs> well, I, that's lovely because we have uh, children all over our district that can profit from this. Absolutely. It's not age bound. That's right. Exactly. Well, um, would you have? Would you do anything differently if you ha if you were advising a school in Midland who wanted to do it? Have you learned any lessons? I would have done it a lot sooner had I known, oh. uh, you know, had I known the impact it would have on our young people, we would have done this years ago. Uh, and, and to to whatever it costs us or, or anyone else and anything else, it, it is worth every cost. It's been just an amazing opportunity. Well, Jordan and Kendra, I'm sure as much as I am grateful, the parents of these children are exponentially more grateful because of the how you're enriching their lives and then the regular ed kids what they are learning about helping others looking outside themselves is such a gift i can't thank you enough for what you're doing and we would love for you to come back and tell us more ahas and stories <laughs> yes. down the down the way Absolutely. thank y'all so much yes,